William Pettiford, Alabama Penny Savings Bank. Birmingham has no shortage of leaders who paved the way for black entrepreneurs in the Magic City. In his generation, William Pettiford may have been the most important of those leaders. He's very first. He's very first. Very first entrepreneur, very first businessman. And Pettiford had a knack of being able to get along with the white business community. In fact, when the Penny Safe Bank was started, it was started based on a friendship that Pettiford had with the Steiner Bank. A native of North Carolina, Pettiford moved to Alabama in his early 20s. He worked first as a teacher and then a principal before focusing on theology and becoming a licensed preacher. After moving to Birmingham, Pettiford would serve at 16th Street Baptist Church, where he displayed his acumen for leadership and financial stewardship. Those qualities would serve him well in one of his most important ventures. In 1890, Pettiford founded Alabama Penny Savings Bank, which played a critical role in building Birmingham's black-owned business community. When the Penny Savings Bank went into business, it was operating against all obstacles. But it stayed in business for 25 years, and it provided the mortgage money for blacks to purchase property. Pettiford eventually transitioned to the bank's full-time president, which he grew into one of the nation's largest black-owned banks, forging critical relationships along the way. He also organized the National Negro Banking Association, displaying his status as a key national leader in the industry. Pettiford died in 1914, and the bank failed shortly after his death. But historians say his legacy lives on, and his vision has shaped generations of black business leaders in Birmingham. He's a story that needs to be known. It needs to be known by every person in the state of Alabama.